All right, I'm on my third and final test. This is a test of water resistance. Uh, one of the uh, features of microcrystalline wax that is uh, often mentioned when you look it up. What I have here is three paper towels and I poured a teaspoon of water on them. Now, a teaspoon of water doesn't sound like much, but it was actually dripping wet. And they've uh, set for a couple of minutes, so it's not quite dripping wet again. And I'm going to put one of these on each section. Renaissance wax, pure microcrystalline wax, and uh, carnauba wax. There's the Renaissance wax, the microcrystalline wax, and finally the carnauba wax. I'm going to leave these here until they dry out, which will probably take an hour, maybe longer. Don't know for sure. I'll be checking back in the workshop here occasionally. Um, now, this piece of Purple Heart, this had a finish of sanding sealer on it, which is dilute shellac. Shellac is known for being marred by water. And so that's what I'll be looking for, is to see, after these dry out, is there any difference underneath these paper towels? Did it harm the finish at all, or did the wax that was on there protect it from uh, the moisture? All right, I'll be back in a while. And I'm back. It's been about uh, been about five hours since I put these damp pieces of paper towel on here. And uh, they're completely dry now. So just need to get a flashlight here and take a close look. All right. One, two, and three. And let's have a look here. Uh, I think even without the flashlight, here, here, and here, it's obvious where the uh, damp paper towels were. Each one of them is just looking a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit uh, whited out, maybe a little bit stained or something. Frankly, every one of them looks about the same, whereas we might hope that... Uh, the Renaissance wax and microcrystalline wax would not have gotten as damaged. Let's turn it upside down. Now, upside down, this is 180 degrees here. And of course, as you can see, no staining or anything. We go back to this side. And here we've got just a little bit. You can see how it's a little bit whiter, lighter, something like that. Not sure if I can call it a stain, but let's see if it'll buff out. I am just lose, using a little bit of uh, denim and about uh, 1200. I just buff this a little bit, see if the stain will go away. And here we are, and it has not. Okay, so uh, the uh, Carnauba wax seems to be a little bit more discolored than the Renaissance wax. This one, pure microcrystalline Renaissance wax. Uh, the Renaissance wax, after buffing, appears to have come through the best, but it's still got a stain there. There's no question about that. So it does appear to me that, that the three different waxes all resisted moisture pretty much uh, the same degree. All right, I think it's time to go and summarize the results.